This is Carl Horrock with CMS 321 Data Structures and Analysis of Algorithms for the College of Santa Fe. I'm talking about hashing, which seems to give people more trouble than it should. Hashing is a generalization of an ordinary array. It's essentially an array where you can store more than one thing at any one indexed location. This is useful when you have applications that require insertion, search, and delete. These sorts of uh, functions are often needed in, say, a compiler for a language that maintains a symbol table that stores arbitrary character strings that correspond to identifiers, variables, function names, things like that in the language. Uh, and it's an efficient way of implementing dictionaries. Searching for an element in a hash table could take as long as searching for an element in a one long linked list, which would be theta of n in the worst case, but in practice, under reasonable assumptions, it can go off very fast in big O of 1, constant time. We're going to look at the way in, one of the ways in which you can hash a key value. Here's our hash function. We're using the multiplication method. This is, ties directly to homework number 3, where I'm asking you to calculate values with k of 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. m is given as 2,000. a is given as 0 0.618, which is Knuth's recommended uh, value. a is usually, or is always, between 0 and 1. In our example, setting k equal to 36, it equals the floor of 2,000 times the quantity, 36 times 0 0.681, modulus of 1. So, 36 times 0 0.681 is 24.516. Modulus of 1 refers to dropping the integer portion, so we're left with 0 0.56516. That is multiplied times 2,000, which is the size of our hash table, and it comes up with Interestingly, uh, 1,032. Uh, if there was a decimal point, the floor function rounds down. So we would store the value for a key of 36 in the slot in our hash table of 1030, uh, 1032. If there were other items also stored in the slot at 1032, we would have a linked list there for as many elements as uh, tied for that location. But in a well-designed hash table, you can control the number of ties that on average will uh, hash to a particular key. So there's our uh, calculation. Hopefully that helps you with the homework and gives you a little bit more uh, comfortable uh, feeling about homework number three.